what you can do is speak the melody of the song on the pitch. Fauzia is a wonderful pianist. Kia ora, my name's Zoe Stiebe, your vocal coach for today. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at John Legend and Fauzia's brand new music video, Minefield. So let's take a look. Just as a disclaimer that I put at the beginning of all of my videos, I am not Fauzia, nor am I John Legend's vocal coach. I have no idea what their intentions are for this song, and I'm merely reacting to this one moment in time. Obviously, because this is a pre-recorded performance, their vocals have probably been cleaned up a little bit in post-production. So I'm gonna be taking a look at how you can create exactly the same sounds in the comfort of your own home. So let's get to the video. Now this might be a mistake That I'm calling you the slate But these dreams I have of you ain't real enough Stop Firstly, before I just see John Legend sitting at the piano, I have never heard this song before. I know that's really bad of me, but I think it's quite good actually because I've never heard the song and I'm kind of listening to it for the very first time. Fauzia is a wonderful pianist and we see that right at the beginning and there she is looking stunning in that dress. Her voice at the beginning is very easy and relaxed and we would call that an Estor voice training speech quality. You you might also know that as chest voice. Bringing up the past, how the things you love don't last, even though this isn't fair for both of us. Ooh, maybe I'm just a fool. I still be. Before we get into the chorus, I just had to say what fabulous vocals. Their voices blend so wonderfully together. I know I did say that in post-production, they kind of, you know, they can make that magic happen, but you can really hear that the qualities of their voices are quite similar. They've both got slightly darker timbres in their voices, which makes them match perfectly. I know a lot of people really love to sing Jod Lynch's songs and he does this kind of little trick where he tenses the back of his throat. I still belong with you. Uh, I don't actually know the lyrics, but what he's doing is just tensing really, really lightly. I, th I think because that sound can kind of be created in a couple of different ways, but what I think he's doing is he's just tensing really lightly the back of his tongue. You can do this by thinking that you're singing like Shakira. She's also someone really famous that does it. Um, whenever, whenever. Anastasia is also someone that does it. I'm out of love, set me free. And uh, Cher is also someone that tends up. If I could turn back time. And I am not making fun of them whatsoever. It's just the way that you can kind of create that slightly more darker sound um, when you're singing at home. Right there is why you all need to pause this video and go and practice all of your scales and arpeggios. Amazing. Can you tell what is going to be featuring on our warm up Wednesday in a couple of weeks? I mean, I'll just give you a clue. It's definitely that melisma right there. I didn't notice what I lost until all the lights were off. Up to torture me. 
I know a lot of people are going to be covering this song over the next couple of weeks, probably months. And I know there's already a couple up on YouTube to create that really like Fauzia, da, 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 da. as I say, I've got no idea what the lyrics are. The way in which you can create that sound is you speak the words on pitch. Let's just start with verse one, for example. So you've got, now this might be a mistake that I'm calling you this late, but these dreams I have of you aren't real enough. And what you can do there is you can speak that out loud, but on pitch. Now this might be a mistake that I'm calling you this late, but these dreams I have of you ain't real enough. I'm not really 100% sure of the melody, bad voice teacher. I probably should have gone and had a look at that. But what you can do is speak the melody of the song on the pitch. And that's going to help bring the voice and that's going to help bring the vocal folds down into that chest voice sound. So if you're someone who's saying, ah, oh, I don't really have a lot of kind of power or volume down in that bottom part of the range, she's literally speaking on pitch. Now there is I know before I get any comments, there is a difference between speaking and singing. So if you're someone who's having any troubles with volume or anything like that, down in that lower range, for example, in a song like Minefields, then hit me up in the comments and let me know what you're having trouble with. And I'll see if I can point you in the direction of a vocal exercise and maybe help you out in a couple more of the videos. Speak it along on pitch and then you can slowly start to get a feel of where the vocal folds are. Now, after a while, you're going to need to do something else. So what you're going to do with that extra thing is you're going to slightly complain on the sound. Now this might be a mistake that I'm calling you this late, but these dreams I have of you ain't real enough. And so what you're doing is you're going to be doing a little bit of a complain along that speaky sound. And that's the way that you can kind of bring in this chest quality right at the beginning of the song. And she's really not singing very loud. I know it's pre-recorded, but she's really, really quiet in that beginning part. So don't make the mistake that a lot of singers do and they just start with loads of power. Now this might be a mistake. We're broken in so many ways, but I piece us back together slowly. Ooh, maybe I'm just a that people are going to ask again about that. These mind feels that. Actually, it's kind of hard to describe. It's almost like you are kind of making fun of him just a little bit. You're not trying to make fun of the sound. My God, who am I to say that that is an incorrect sound? It is kind of like you are making fun of his sound. And you're just going to feel a really light amount of constriction at the back here. So I don't want you to go, this my feels. You're not Kermit the Frog just yet, yeah? But it's just really, really light. Yeah, what's going on, Pluto? Or like Goofy. And that's kind of that sound. That is not how he sounds whatsoever, but that's how you can access the sound to make that kind of more John Legend-like Honestly, I don't know why you would want to make it sound more like him because he has his own voice. You have your own voice. So, you know, try and figure out how you can get that speechy chest voice sound in your own sound. But if you happen to be a John Legend tribute act, then there you go. Go ahead. How they can keep singing with those like smoke bombs going off. That must have been so hard to know. I, I bet in the first couple of takes they were like, oh, oh, and they got a little bit shocked. I can imagine it took a little bit of time to get used to. I 
have a feeling like every single singer is going to bring this song to me now over the next couple of weeks because this is now on the YouTube top list. How she goes up for those high notes is you've really got to cry. You've got to really, really think that it's the saddest thing on the planet. And that way you're going to bring the vocal forms together to go right up. Um, Start slow, start small, and then work your way up there. Fauzia is no newbie to the old singing game. So I want you to think about, you can do it down the bottom of the range. It's like you're having a good old cry. Making sure though that you're not crack, you're not scratching and crackling. Like it's not, isn't it's not an ugly cry moment. It's a, I want everyone to know that I'm really sad kind of cry. And then you're gonna be able to take the voice right up there. The main concern with what she just did that was not belt by the way that was not belting that was like a decent mix all the way up there so she's taking out a lot of that weight that's in the voice and that speech quality chest sound and she's crying right up through the top of the range but i promise you it's not belt and if you do it on a microphone it's really not that loud it, it just sounds loud because the note is so high that I'm calling you the slate, but these dreams I have of you ain't real enough. Oh, that's lovely. I really liked that video. I liked that it was quite understated. I like that it really didn't detract from, well, from the song, from the singing. How fantastic. Um, I don't know when they filmed it. Got no idea what the background is, but, you know, feel free to let me know down in the comments if you know any of the background of the song and, like, how they wrote it and things like that. Probably should have done a bit of research. But I wanted to look at it, like, with fresh eyes and having never heard the song before. It's wonderful. It's really, really beautiful. This would be a fantastic song for anyone who is maybe getting into singing in harmony. I can't wait to hear the song live at like the Grammys at some time in the near future. That would be so, so cool. But if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button because I bring out videos just like this one every single week. And I would love to hear your recommendations on what you would like to see. I mean, these reactions are just for you. I want to help you sing like these people at home or create those sounds better with your own voices. So hit me up in the comments about what you would like to see more of. Have a lovely rest of your day. Kaki te ano.